For love is more powerful than hate. Hope is more powerful than fear. And light is more powerful than dark. This is our moment. This is our mission. May history be able to say that the end of this chapter of American darkness began here tonight. I give you my word. If you entrust me with the presidency, I will draw on the best of us, not the worst. I'll be an ally of the light, not the darkness. My mother taught me that service to others gives life purpose and meaning. And oh, how I wish she were here tonight. But I know she's looking down on me from above. Bo isn't with us any longer. But he is still very much alive in our hearts. And we can still hear his strong voice just like it was yesterday. In 2008 and 2012, he introduced our dad at those conventions. In moments both public and private, he's the father I've always known, the grandfather my children love and adore, and the president our nation needs. I wish Donald Trump knew how to be a president because America needs a president right now. I did hope, for the sake of our country, that Donald Trump might show some interest in taking the job seriously. Donald Trump doesn't deserve to call himself Commander-in-Chief for another four minutes, let alone another four years. Why the hell would we ever rehire Donald Trump for another four years? And in the midst of all of this, we have a president who is not only incapable of addressing these crises, but is leading us down the path of authoritarianism. And four years ago, too many people chose to believe that their votes didn't matter. But this is not the time to withhold our votes in protest or play games with candidates who have no chance of winning. Vote for honest elections so we, not a foreign adversary, choose our president. Make a plan right now for how you are going to get involved and vote. Do it as early as you can and tell your family and friends how they can vote too. Whether you're planning to vote, wearing a mask, or vote by mail, please take out your phone right now and text VOTE to 30330. Hi, my name is Braden Harrington and I'm 13 years old. And without Joe Biden, I wouldn't be talking to you today. About a few months ago, I met him in New Hampshire. He told me that we were members of the same club. We, we, we stutter. Stating the simple fact that a black life matters is still met with derision from the nation's highest office. The divisions have been growing deeper. The anti-Semitism, the anti-Latino, the anti-immigrant fervor, the racism in Charlottesville, where the KKK didn't even bother to wear their hoods. Black, Latino, and indigenous people are suffering and dying disproportionately. And this is not a coincidence. It is the effect of structural racism. Vote for justice for George Floyd, Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery, because black lives matter. She's fabulous. I cannot wait to see her debate our current vice president, Mika Pints. Or uh, is it Paints? It's pronounced Ponce, I believe. Oh, some kind of weird foreign name? Yeah, not very American sounding. Tonight, I couldn't be prouder to be a loyal union member a passionate climate activist and a patriotic Democrat, or as Donald Trump will call me in a tweet tomorrow, a washed up horse face no talent has been with low ratings. Well, with all due respect, sir, it takes one to know one. Oh,